Pause everything for the Saber Roar. I'm Ann. And I'm Zach. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. Fall sports at Franklin High School has done exceptionally well this year. So well that a pep rally was held in their honor. Boys volleyball and a diver were headed to state. The volleyball and cross country coaches shared the accomplishments of their teams. The girls cross country team made a victory tunnel for our state cross country champion freshman Allie. The freshman class won the spirit stick from the seniors because of Allie's success. The focus changed from athletics to activities with the introduction of Spare Change, a short film written by freshman Alexis, who won the Milwaukee Film Collaborative Cinema Screenwriting Contest. Her film was made into a short movie by professionals. The pep rally ended with applause for Alexis's film and State Bound Deeps. This is Callie reporting for the Sabre Roar. Congratulations to all the state participants. Your efforts have caught the attention and respect of everyone in the Franklin community. The size of this year's freshman class is larger than the previous freshman classes. And in the future, the number of incoming freshmen are expected to be larger, raising the issue of overcrowding. As years pass, it seems that Franklin High School is getting more crowded. Last year, Franklin High School had about 1,330 students, and this year the count is over 1,390. We're getting very full. This building's only built to handle, you know, a little less than 1,500 students at its maximum capacity. The, there's more classrooms that are used every period of the day than before, um, and we're going to jump up some more again next year. I would guess we'll be certainly into the low 1400s, maybe 1430 students next year. As a number of students come in and exceeds a number leaving, a possible solution is to build more classrooms. In the past two years, the school has added two new classrooms, dividing up the large green room, hoping it would help. It's possible. Another classroom could be added uh, in that area. That's about the only space that we have. The problem with that is it's one of our few large group meeting spaces uh, in this building. So that's, that's always a challenge. Um, so I don't know if we're going to have additional space or if we're just going to have to continue to make more use out of the space that we have. One of the possible options is reaching out to the community for a referendum to renovate and build new schools. The district will have to look at some long-term solutions. They may have to go out to the community for some help on, on long-term solutions in terms of meeting the student demand in this building. Though overcrowding is a potential issue, the previous referendum to build a new high school was voted down. The FHS Jazz Ensemble had a wonderful performance. Elisa was there to cover the concert. In November, the FHS Jazz Ensemble performed the first concert of the year. They played six songs including Pick Up the Pieces by Average White Band and Buffalo City by Miles Davis. I was very proud of the students' performance last night. Um, they performed six different pieces that we've only been working on since October 11th, and we only meet three times a week during resource. So these jazz students, uh, most of them, many of them take private lessons. They put in a lot of time outside of class practicing, and I thought it was a fantastic start to the year. There are over 20 students in this year's ensemble, and most of them are underclassmen. I thought I did pretty well. I mean, as a whole, like rhythm was solid. Uh, very good solos from the uh, brass section, and overall it was a very good performance. Their performance was well received. Be sure to check out their next performance on February 5th at the New Trier Jazz Festival. Some classes here at Franklin High School have a more of a college feel to them, especially the new class, Prowl. Prowl Peer Review Online Writing Lab is a new English class offered to upperclassmen that's a little different from the other English classes here at FHS. It's all online, so instead of having a teacher in the classroom, you do everything online. Students research, edit, compose, and submit their work online, very similar to an online college course. I only see Ms. Evans in the morning during resource time. Otherwise, you can do anything on your time. Not only do the Prowl students benefit from this class, they also extend their knowledge to their peers. We also tutor kids in the morning. Kids can come in and um, get help on English papers. The sign-up sheets are located in the computer lab if you're interested in getting a peer tutor. This is Ann reporting for the Sabre Roar. We are thankful to have another unique course that helps us prepare for college and life after high school. Thanks again for tuning into the Sabre Roar. I'm Zach. And I'm Ann. Tune in next week for our first golden moment. Mike and Danny continue the tradition of randomly selecting a student to surprise in class with a giant cookie.